Hey, cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. Mama, I thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savon. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <sighs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savant's and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Brian and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? Tomorrow. You know what, Pam? <laughs> I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. I much rather kick him out than put my hands on him. And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership. Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call AT&T and ask them why it's off? How was your weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm, interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving. So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting real sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shane and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. 
But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy. You mix matching again. Ma, I got all A's and a B in Spanish. I don't like all these different letters, Brian. Mom, just in case you didn't know, normal parents will be okay when their child gets A's and B's. I'm black and I have a B in Spanish. I know Espanol. The problem is I brag to my friends about you being a straight A student, and yet there is nothing straight about this report card. Why are you bragging to your miserable no man having divorce club friends about my report card? Because they like to brag about their kids. My friend Michelle likes to brag about her son Eric and how he's valid Victorian at his school. Bitch, my son Brian has a four-year scholarship to Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. Damn it, Brian, why? Because Trenton got accepted into a two-year college here in Texas. Trenton does not have a four-year scholarship. Let me get this straight. You can pick any university on the planet, but you are choosing to follow that damn boy to a two-year college. Kyrie, tell mama to look at your report card so she can get off my back. I haven't even touched the surface of your back. We will finish this conversation later. Jesus, Kyrie, you got an F in math. Ma, I don't know what she was thinking when you saw my report card. Everybody can't be Brian and get all A's and B's and get four-year scholarships. Mama, I know you were not somewhere smoking with my child. Tanika Savon ain't no child no more. He is 19 years old with a child of his own. Is this what your life has become, Savon? No job, living with your mother, a child that I'm taking care of, and now smoking with your grandmother? You know what? Yes. Yes. I'm a bum, and I'm proud of it. You're so focused on Brian and what school he's going to attend okay. that you're not even focused on me and Kyrie. Because if you were, you'd known that I got a job at Wendy's. Flipping unseasoned patties. What an accomplishment. Shut your bougie ass up. You think you better than me? I am what you felt to be, and you're the oldest. Bring your bitch ass over here and say that shit. Now, Savon, you know you don't want me to come over there and say it again. I will beat your ass, oldest and all. What is going on? Tamika, what have you been doing to my grandbabies? Grandma, she hasn't been doing anything with me and Savon. Just her pride and joy, Brian. Where is this coming from? Oh, gosh, Mama, that's a good question. Let's start with your lack of attention for me. You've missed two parent-teacher conferences so that you can go on college tours with Brian. Grandma, you want to go play bingo? You know, since my mama don't got time for me no more, you know, I don't have a four-year scholarship and all. You know what? Both of y'all can shut the fuck up. Because I do the best I can with what I am given. These parent-teacher conferences, your ass goes in my phone and you block the school number. And then you delete the emails from the school. Do you not? You don't want me talking to these teachers. And as for you, oh, you done lost your damn mind. I cannot help it that I have one child left who gives a flying fuck about his future. So I break my back to secure it. Now, feel free at any time to start giving a fuck about y'all's future. And I promise, this back can break some more. Now, all four of y'all get the hell out of my kitchen. Uh, I'm the mama. You can't talk to me like that. 
You're the mama living with the daughter. I take care of you. Whew. I need to know why I had to have a friend drop me off here. One of you bitches could have came and picked me up from the airport. Mama, please, we have a serious situation that is going on right now that requires your attention. Well, I ain't got no money, so... Mama, we don't need no money. Tariqa, tell your grandmother what's been going on. Grandma, all your grandsons have been trying to make a pass at me. Be specific, you little bitch, because you have yet to answer my question on Kyrie. I already told you I didn't touch Kyrie. Who in the hell are you bucking at, Tariqa? Tamika. Y'all flew me down here to tell me that Tarika been hoeing with her cousins? Not just her cousins, but Tommy too. Tommy? My son Tommy? Your uncle Tommy? Tarika, that is just foul. But I'm not surprised. You get it from your mama. Excuse me? Well, you slept with my ex-husband Earl. And now look at your daughter. Sleeping with your brother. <laughs> Mama, what are you gonna do about this situation? Your granddaughter just sat here and told you she is sleeping with everybody in the family. Tyra, I don't know what you expect me to do. If I couldn't keep you, Tamika, or Tanya's legs closed, what makes you think I can keep Tarika's legs closed? Wow, I expect nothing less from you. And you know what? Your ex-husband Earl was nasty. He came on to me and Tamika. And both you bitches obliged. Okay, mama, I believe that ticket was round trip. Do you need somebody to drop you back off at the airport? Oh, well, that is very thoughtful coming from you, Tamika. But no, my dear friend Jasmine will be dropping me back off at the airport. Who? Oh. Take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm sorry, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm gonna ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches, or it will get real aggressive around here. Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, Mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama! What are you doing about the next year? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? 
Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika. Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... Oh, 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 oh. I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! I'll go ahead and let you have him this weekend, Tamika, and then you can have him next weekend as well. So you don't see me standing here? Does that work, Tamika? That's fine. You're eventually going to have to communicate with me about my son. As long as you are broke living with your mother and she is paying child support, I will not. He's still my son. Biologically, yes. Mentally and financially, no. I'm here every time he drop my son off. For like an hour and then you're off with whichever hoe this is. My name is Shay. I didn't ask. But you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. Would you prefer the term slut? Or whore? Girl, how many times have you been pregnant? I'll wait. Ugh, enough. Versace, thank you for stopping. Tamika, your son gave me chlamydia. Mm-mm. I didn't give you anything. Savon, I've only been with you, and only you. That was months ago, Carmen, and I've only been with you and Shay. <laughs> I stand corrected, whore. Tamika, I'll go ahead and go. I see you have a bunch of STDs on your hand. I'll see you this weekend. Brian, what are you doing? Mama finally let you out your room? Did you come down here to piss at somebody else's tea? I just came down here to study. Oh, would you like some piss tea while you're studying? Kari, I've already apologized to you and right now I'm in the process of changing how I react to things when I'm upset. Learning how to be more calm. I don't give two shits about you wanting to be calm. And what did you apologize to me about? I forgot, refresh my memory. Peeing in your cup. Mm. You sick fuck. I would beat your ass, but mama has already done that. Okay, are you done? I haven't even started, bitch. Mama asked me to babysit the twins because she didn't know if you were gonna you know, piss in their sippy cups and shit. Can you leave me alone? Please. No, the fuck I cannot. So guess what? You'll be babysitting instead of me because I have better things to do with my life. Harry, clearly you are trying to get a rise out of me and it's not going to happen. I am not going to do something that mama told you to do. Yes, you is. Or I'll tell your boyfriend you like pissing in people's cups and shit. That's right. Inhale, exhale because you damn sure ain't gonna do shit. So go ahead. Asa, asa. Oh, the universe gave me a sign looking ass. Did the universe tell you to piss in my cup? Shut your motherfucking ass up! Shut your motherfucking ass up! All you do is run your fucking mouth and I will rip you the fuck apart, bitch! What is that? A little gift for Kyrie. What'd you put in it? Oh, it's sweet tea, but I added some lemonade. Oh, shit. Hey, I made you something. What is that? It's a drink for you. I made it just for you. I've been a horrible big brother in the past and I wanna change that. So I wanna start by making you some sweet tea.
All right, this is where I be a big brother and shit. Kyrie, don't, don't drink that shit. Pour it out. Okay. How's it taste? What y'all doing? Mama, Brian made me a drink. What kind of drink? Uh, it's, it's just sweet tea. Here, Ma, have some. No! 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 Why well, I can't try none? Yeah, Brian. Why can't Mama try none? You let me try it. Uh, Mama, Kyrie put his mouth on that. Oh, my God. It tastes a little sour. What'd you mix with it? Tea and sugar? Wait a minute. Hold on, because I... I... I know what piss smell like. Mama, it was supposed to be a prank on Kyrie. Did you just give me and your brother some damn piss tea? Ugh, Mama, I don't feel so good. Brian, you pissed in this shit? I just came home and I feel like there's a whore in my house. Now, I don't know who brought the whore in. I have an idea. But for shits and giggles, I'm going to go through the roster. Starting with Kyrie. What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Playing my PS5. And if you need proof, just check your balance. I charged your card and bought a new game. But mama, is that really important right now? One of your sons brought a whore in the house. You should be trying to figure out which one did that. I believe Brian was next. Brian, what were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Now, I know you are innocent, son, but just tell mama what you was doing. <laughs> yeah, um, I was watching Stranger Things and um, I was on the phone with my friend Katrina. There's a discrepancy in your answer. So I'll be right back. Savan! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone, son? Tap dancing, mama. I was tap dancing. Bingo. Where did you hide the germ? In your closet? Under your bed? She in the attic. Oh, I hope you're not talking about the attic that locks behind you. The attic that only I have the key to unlock? Little bitch better get comfortable. She ain't coming out no time soon. Brian! Mama! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? I was watching Stranger Things. You may have been watching Stranger Things, but your friend Katrina is in basic training and she does not have access to her phone. I can't watch this anymore. His little boyfriend is also hiding in the attic. You're both grounded until further notice. As for the individuals that are in my attic, the only way they are coming out is if y'all contact their parents and tell them to come get them out of my attic. Mama, you'll be arrested. I'll simply say that I did not know that my sons were hiding people in my attic. Hello, Savannah, can you get me out? Is that Shay? <laughs> Shay, you ain't coming out no time soon, bitch. I told you to stay your ass out of my house and look where you done found yourself. Locked in my attic. So, Ma, I got a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetical. Okay. As in, it has not happened yet. Okay. Like when I ask, you can't react because... Hypothetical. Right. I'm listening. 
let's say I hypothetically went to Houston this weekend for my friend's birthday party. Didn't I ground you this weekend? You did, but that was for me stealing my phone out of your closet, mama. I mean, that is just ridiculous. And you don't care. But hypothetically, what would happen if I did go? Like, what would be the hypothetical consequences? I would fuck your whole world up. Mom, I was speaking hypothetically. And my response was realistically. It was hypothetical. I don't give a hypo damn. I better not catch you outside of my house this weekend, Brian. Or you'll be getting a theoretical ass whooping. Ma, when my friend Joseph comes in the house and asks if I can stay at his house tonight, say no. Hey, what's going on, Miss Tamika? Hi, Joseph. H how's your mom? Oh, she's doing good. She actually just said that Kyrie can come and stay the night so we can play video games. <gasps> oh, did she? Yeah, she did. So I was wondering um, if he could come over and stay the night. Um, Kyrie is grounded all weekend, so he can't. Huh. That's weird. We, we just came back from the mall that you, that you dropped us off at. He, not tonight. He can't come tonight. Okay. Well, I mean, he said that if my mom said yes, then you would say yes. <laughs> then he set your clueless ass up. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? He don't want to go to your house. He does not like you like that. Brian! That's not true, baby. Savon, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savon, when do you usually get the baby? All weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savon. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve. But I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions. Because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. 
Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks and you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. So y'all mama gone. I think she's going to be at the store for a minute. No, she should be right back so she can drop you back off from whatever no-gated community apartment complex you came from. What I'm trying to say is she's not here and we're all alone. So what y'all trying to do? What you trying to do? Kyrie, hell no. That is your cousin. Why is it so quiet in here? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we wasn't doing nothing. That's interesting. I don't recall asking if anybody was doing anything. We wasn't. We was just we we was just talking. Yes, ma'am. Savon. What's been going on while I was gone? Ma, I don't know. I'm not paying attention to them. Curry. I don't know what you're talking about. Brian. She was in here trying to do something freaky with Savannah and Kyrie. I see he lying. He lying. We wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't. I didn't say nothing to them. I wasn't trying to do nothing nasty. He lying, auntie. Auntie, he lying. He lying, auntie. Okay, go get your stuff and wait in my car. I'll be back. Do you know what time it is, Tamika? Do you want to meet Jehovah? It is five in the morning. Where have you been? Out being grown. I have a serious problem with that. I don't give a fat rat's ass what you have a problem with, Brian. You can't be picking and choosing when you want to abandon your motherly duties. Let me try and find who the fuck you might be talking to. My question hasn't been answered, though. Where have you been all night? It is simply none of your damn business. Okay, so when we sneak out or sneak somebody in, remember that it's none of your business. Okay, here's where you got the shit ass backwards. This is my damn house. Everything that moves in this bitch, I will know about. What's up, uh, Kyrie? Is that your name? All right, go upstairs. Mom, I have some information for you. I'm listening. Brittany has been lying to you. Be more specific, Kyrie. She never got kicked out of her mama's house. She's only here for Savon, and she's blackmailing Brian to help her. You said that she was blackmailing your brother. What does she have on him? Mama, the bottom line is that this girl played you. She will be dealt with accordingly. Now, what does she have on your brother? Alexa, okay. Kyrie, you already know how I'm finna come. It's about to get real physical around here. So I suggest you start talking or there goes your ass along with Brittany and Brian's. Brian has a 57-year-old sugar daddy that lives in Atlanta. I'd like to be granted full immunity from all further action from you. Close my door on your way out. But Sashi, why every time you come up here, his diaper isn't changed? Well, change it, Tamika. He's a baby, so he's going to piss every five seconds. 
you know what, I'm just gonna keep him for the weekend and your incompetent ass can go do whatever it is you need to do. Versace, what do you want? Savannah's not here. I didn't come for Savan. Of course you did. You're the type of baby mama who uses the child as an excuse to see the father. Lie again. Mama, can I use the car to go see Trenton? Brian, leave me alone. What's up, mama? Oh, shit. Mm. Jasmine, have you met Versace, the baby mama? <laughs> no, I've been trying to avoid that at all cost. What exactly does that mean, Jasper? Can y'all not do this in front of my grandbaby, please? Savon, you've been avoiding our child for weeks. And for what? For this chick? I haven't been avoiding my son. I've been avoiding you. Why are you here? That's what I want to know. No one is speaking to you, Jermaine. It's Jasmine. Whatever the hell it is, your wig is giving broke and tired. My wig costs more than your life, and I know little Miss Aquafina with the low IQ score isn't talking. Little Miss, I need welfare but can't spell welfare. Little Miss, I forgot the pin number to my EBT card. Let me call my mama and get it. Isn't talking. Savon, take her to the clinic. It's not mine. You better be lying. Hey, Mama, this is my friend Latoya. Sardines. What? Is this the little girl that I caught you with last week and she had your room smelling like under the sea? Mama, can we go to the movies this weekend? Sure, if your brother decides to go with you. Mama, no, because then he gonna wanna bring his boyfriend and then he gonna treat me like I'm a baby. Sounds like a personal problem. Um, Latoya, is it? How old are you? I'm 17. Oh, so you're a predator. My son just turned 16. No, we're in the same grade. Oh, so you're repeating the 11th grade. Mama, can we go to the movies, yes or no? Can you clean the piss off the toilet seat? Or no? Can you clean that dirty ring around the bathtub off? Or no? Can you take a shower without being told to? Or no? Can you stop introducing me to females that smell like fishbowl? Or no? Mama! Ma'am, what exactly are you trying to imply? Sweetheart, I need you to seek medical attention ASAP. Your scent is offensive. <laughs> Ma'am, I smell like blossoms and cherries. Ask your son. You want to take her to the movies? I need you to take her to the nearest pharmacy so she can gain control of that pH balance. You know what? I can't do this, Kyrie. Your mom is rude. I'm leaving. What was that? Kyrie, she smelled like China Sea. Really, mama? I'm not ready for you to date. I'm not ready for you. I'm not used to you bringing females. I'm not ready for you to date, okay? Get out of my kitchen. Mama, I need to talk to you. If you tell me that you're about to have another baby with that bat from hell, I'm moving out. Today's my last day in this house. Yeah, gather your thoughts. Before I go, all the money you took from me while I was growing up, I'm gonna need that back. What money, Savon? The money that people would give me on my birthdays and you would be like, oh, uh, I need the money for bills so you can have a place to stay. Or the money that I would get from cutting other people's grass that you volunteered me to cut and you still have the audacity to collect.
I calculated all the money that you took from me growing up and it came out to about $5,475. I'll take that in cash or cashier's check or cash app. I should have swallowed your Tamika! ass. I need you to gain control of this situation quick. Where is this coming from, Savon? Lately, you have been on 10. And I'm 18. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with it. And you keep threatening to whoop me with the belt. I ain't scared of that belt, Tamika. Have I not proved that to you? <laughs> Mama, get him before I kill him. You better get him right now before I take him out. But then I thought about it. You've been experiencing hot flashes. You've been lashing out over unfolded clothes and unwashed dishes. I mean, it, it makes sense. You are experiencing menopause. Savon, get your ass out of my house. Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving right Where now. Where you gonna go? My baby mama house. Go stay with her then. She can buy the Pampers and formula for that baby. That baby that she'll never see again. I don't give a damn, Savon. You couldn't afford you the do. baby anyway. I was taking care of that baby. You better get your ass out of my house right now. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm leaving right now. I'm out. You done lost your damn mind talking about you moving out. You ain't got a pot to piss in. Where are you going to go? Oh, hell no. I know it ain't no... Oh, hell no. It, it might be the change. It might be. There's no easy way to say this, but Karen, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me and going where, Michael? Me and my ex-wife have decided to work things out. <laughs> Another bitch was gonna come back and take you from me! Don't do this to us, Michael! Oh, come on, Karen. Your disrespect towards my children, making my son go outside and cut the grass by himself, Kawhi could have helped him. Kawhi is light-skinned. He has oh sensitive skin. Oh, my God. Michael, I'll be a single mother. Is that what you want? Oh, you'll get through it. You have daddy's money. You'll be fine. And I'll still be involved in my children's life, just not yours. Are you trying to cry? It's not working, honey. You know what? <laughs> I forgot who the fuck I was. You know what? Go back to that hood rat. Michael, you just go back to that fucking hood rat. Okay? You'll regret every moment of this. Leaving me. For Shaniqua. Watch your mouth, Karen. I would hate to have to put you in the trailer park. <gasps> Okay, Kawhi, I need you to wash all the dishes and then you're done with your chores for the day. Okay. Brian, I need you to mop the kitchen floor, vacuum the carpets in the house. I need you to fold everyone's clothes. And then I need you to go clean Kawhi's room and clean the guest bedroom that you and your brother sleep in. Are you serious? And Kyrie, you can cut the grass in the front, back, and side of the house. Karen, Kawhi doesn't have that many chores. How about he goes out there and help Kyrie cut the grass? No, Kawhi is light-skinned and has sensitive skin. I don't want him getting dark from being outside. But my brother can go outside in the hot sun, though. Brian, I'm sure your mother has you guys outside all the time. Look, this isn't a negotiation, okay? Your father told me to contact him if I were to have any problems. So do we have a problem, Brian? No, Karen, we don't. I didn't think so. Kyrie, I need you to get up and go cut the grass. Ma'am, I'd like you to remove the bass from your voice and remember whose child you are speaking to. You can call your husband and tell him we have a problem. I'm not cutting your grass. Get off your damn phone and go cut the grass like I've asked you to! What was that? Kyrie! Was that your stern voice, Karen? Go cut the grass! It didn't give what it was supposed to have gave. You are unbelievable! Mom, I'll help Kyrie cut the grass. No, you will stay inside and wash the dishes. Kyrie will go outside and cut the grass. Hey, Karen, you need to calm down right now. 
Brian, don't tell me to calm down. You know what? You go outside and cut the grass with them. How about that? Go out there and cut it with them. You're just mad because my dad is going to leave you and go back to my mom. You know what? I'm going to handle you like your mother handles you. Kawhi, go get my whip. You mean your belt? Whatever it's called, go get it. Mom, I'm not going to go get your belt. I think you should call dad. You know what? Fine, Kawhi. I'll go get it. You stay right there, mister. Brian, I got it. Oh, you got it? Hello. Hey, Grandma Tammy. Hey, baby. Karen was just yelling at me and Brian because we wouldn't go outside and cut her grass, and now she's threatening to go get her master whip and whip us. She gonna do what? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. You going to introduce us, Brian? Mom, Dad, this is Trent. It's nice to meet you, Trenton. Look, I accept my son and I accept you too. I accept y'all's decision. But remember that y'all are still young. How long has this been going on? Uh, for about a year. A year? A whole year. Brian, you just came out four months ago. Samika. So who's doing the bending? Uh, nobody. Both of us. Both of us. We both take turns doing it. We're both doing the bending. Breathe, mama. Breathe. Tamika, it is finally nice to meet you. I wanted to sit and talk to you about the boys. Their behavior this past Saturday was completely unacceptable. Do you mind if I have a conversation with my ex-husband? Ah! Tamika, what ah! the hell? Ah! Michael, please explain to me why my children, why my children ah! arrived at your home to an unidentified white woman insulting them. I was at work and she is my wife and I told her to take oh, care of them until I got feet. home. Oh. Okay, honey, I got you. To me, I can't believe you put your hands on my wife. I don't give a fuck, Michael. That's for her telling one of my kids they got to sleep on the floor. Look, I'm going to give you time to get your Becky's mouth under control and your house in order before my children's next visit. Have a good day. <laughs> Mira, what you going to do? You got no job? You live with your mother? You got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully. No, no, Haggis. Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets her son walk around impregnating everything? What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Man, I, my daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you have been seen aggressive. If you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get this up. You brought me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and her son? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mommy, who you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savon. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house. Right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him, and we'll see how far you get.
Okay, great. So they met each other. Can we talk about the baby shower? Saran, I will demolish you. You think you like that, but you have not seen me. I will tear your ass up. All three of you. Now, the next person that decides to let their daddy issues get the best of them, I'm rocking your shit. You have a son and no job. I got a problem with that. You have one month to get a job. I'm done talking to you. You want to keep them? Because I'll take them out. Both of them. Roll them again. What are you talking about? Shut up. Dad, I don't want no problems. I just want to be gay and not be penalized for it. That's fine, son. You can be gay. But what you're not going to be doing at 16 is bending anybody over. And if I find out that you have, you can say goodbye to Trenton. Now, I have some exciting news for y'all. I'm moving back to town and y'all will be at my house every weekend. Huh? How does that sound? Uh, so you gave me Vanessa a concussion. Savannah, I didn't ask you for any medical updates on that bitch. I was just letting you know. I hope she falls asleep with that concussion. I could have ended her entire existence, but instead I chose to give her a concussion and ask for her daughter, that fucking animal, had she gotten past your brother and touched me, Louis Vuitton would have been a motherless child right now. This is your fault. How is it my fault? Mama, be grateful this lady is pressing charges on you. Tell her to press them. Oh my God. You impregnated that endangered species and brought her and her hippopotamus looking ass mama in my house. It's your fault. Go get the door. Dad? What's going on, Mrs. Vanessa? Tamika, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch. You put your hands on my daughter. Come put your hands on me. Come put your motherfucking hands on me. What you gonna do with it? What? Bitch, you put, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch. You my house, you ain't Stop. bitch. Stop. Fuck your daughter, bitch. Fuck your daughter, bitch. Bitch. You must have forgot, though. You must have forgot. Where are you going, bitch? You must have forgot, bitch. Capri, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of her. What are you doing? Capri, oh my go. goodness. Brad, come here and go. break it up. Come here. When all this is over, my mama is going to be mad at all parties involved. I still need her to meet Trenton. Here you go. You must have a fucking death wish. Don't you ever in your fucking life throw some shit at me, Savon? And what the hell is this? It's the results of the DNA test you requested. You haven't opened it. You want me to be the first one to open it? I'm confident. What you got your homeboy in here is moral support. That's cute. I'm trying to save you the embarrassment, son. What's it say, mama? Somebody, you got me fucked up. You really went out here and made me somebody fucking grandmother? I'm still taking parenting classes and coming to terms with the fact that God has the audacity to allow me to get pregnant three times and you go and pull this shit. So, Greg, we snitching now? You a little snitch bitch now? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Greg, our mother has obtained information on something that happened while she was at work that only the three of us knew about. You were also here that day, too. Man, I ain't got to explain shit to y'all's last. Like yes, the fuck you do. I ain't got to explain yes, shit. Now, do, Saban, you 18 now, so we can handle this like grown-ass men if you want to. Greg, this is not. <laughs> Greg, don't get your. This ass is not energy that you want. Right this ain't what you want. And Greg, your first mistake is thinking that you're gonna fight one brother and not have to fight the other two. Well, step around this motherfucker. I'm so sick of y'all's little asses and y'all soft ass mama. She still got y'all in the goddamn titty. Yeah, I said it. What's up? Uh, all three of y'all coming? Let's go. Let's go. Where you been at, boy? Grandma, you left me at the casino in Las Vegas three weeks ago. 
I had to call my mama to come get me. Now you a damn lie. I didn't go to no casino. I dropped you off at one of your little friend's house and you ain't never came back. Tamika, who you gonna believe? Me or Kyrie, who lies every time he opens his mouth? You incompetent, selfish, irresponsible, disappointing, lying ass. Now, wait a minute now. I'm still your mama. And you have sucked at it ever since I was a child. I was a fool to leave my kids with you. Mika, I wasn't in no damn Las Vegas. Kyrie was, so how the hell did he get there? Oh, well, shit. I, I don't know, Kyrie. How did you get to Vegas? Now, you know I love you, and I know I'm your favorite, but I found it hard to believe that you don't remember. Your friend Carla, remember it was her birthday. You didn't want to you didn't want to miss it, but you didn't want to leave me at home alone with Brian and Savon, so you took me with you. But then you forgot about me the next morning and left me at the Airbnb. I had to call my mama, and I've been with her ever since. You left Brian and Savon alone? Brian, how were you getting to school? Oh, Grandma took me out for a week until she got back. So you took my child out of school for a week without my authorization. How was he going to get to school if I was supposedly in Las Vegas, Tamika? And I don't like how you talking to me right now. Because you damn sure can't whoop my ass. I'm your mama, okay? So instead of you complaining, say thank you for me watching your kids while you wanted to go have a mental break. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that to this day, you are still a sorry ass excuse for a mother and a grandmother. Oh, and another thing. Whose black Mercedes is that parked outside of my driveway? Mine. Hmm. You have an estimate of $5,000 left in your bank account. So who did you screw to get that Mercedes? Let me your damn business, girl. Mind your business. Hmm. And you, you haven't been asking me for any money or Savon. Why is that? I got a raise at work. You work at Rainbow. You and them rainbow bitches get paid $4 an hour and you're part-time. So unless you're taking cash out of the register, you a damn lie. Okay. I cannot put two and two together right now, but I will. And for y'all's sake, I hope there are no more surprises. Savon, Carmen is getting induced this weekend, so make sure you are at that hospital for your second child. Yes, ma'am. Is there something you want to say? No, she good. When did you start speaking for her? Tanika, you are so ungrateful. I took care of you, your brothers, and your sisters the best way I could. And y'all are still alive and breathing today. Your kids are alive and breathing today. I might not have been the best mother or grandmother, but I did the best I could with what I was given. Are you done? Or is there more you'd like to bitch about? You left my 16-year-old son in a state where he could have been God knows what if I didn't show up on time. So I don't give a damn about your struggles as a mother and what it turned you into. You know what, you disrespectful heifer. I'll let myself out. And stay out. I will. Oh, bougie ass. I can't believe I gave birth to your selfish ass. You don't treat your mama like this. You also don't leave your teenage daughters home alone with the man that you've only been married to for three months and barely knew. But you did. Oh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing that shit, okay? You waited until you were damn near 41 years old to cry about it. That man is dead now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Get out of my house and take your sidekick with you. Gladly. Come on, Versace.
Well, I'm glad to have you back, Mom. Glad to be back. And y'all will never leave my sight after today. Oh, hell no. Nah.